In the depths of the forest was a big face buried. Big face had been buried there for decades and lived quietly. He even forgot when he last spoke. One day, one bird came. The bird drew a circle around Big Face and then perched on his face. Just right. My nose was itchy for a long time. Hey, scratch my nose. The bird just perched on the nose of Big Face and pecked off his nose with a beak. Oh, ouch. Stop it. As Big Face shouted, the bird was surprised and fled high in the sky. What a terrible thing to do. I never want to like that again. Staring at the damaged red nose, he whispered alone. The warm sunlight is pouring. The buds that bloomed on Big Face blossomed, and various insects came. He was looking at the insects with a slight tickling feeling. He felt pleasant and eventually fell asleep. Waking up to the loud noise, he was surprised and screamed. Even though I'm sleeping with a good feeling, what's the fuss about? There were so many flying bees around. Oh, noisy. Go away. In a hurry, he blew on and drove off the bees. When it rains for a long time, birds came to Big Face. Oh, it's you again. I will not forgive this time. However, the birds are quiet and resting their wings. After a while, besides the birds, small animals and that one with horns came. It's really cramped and hot. He complained alone. The animals were all quiet and beside him. The hot sun is shining. A cicada is buzzing beside Big Face. Be quiet. It's really noisy. Then, humans appeared from the nearby bush. There is a Big Face in such a place. This is good. Let's take a rest here. The humans unloaded their luggage beside him and lay down. When the sun went down, humans started a bonfire. It smells faintly good. The eyes are tingling, the nose is stuffy, and the throat is thirsty. Big Face raised his voice unintentionally. It's smoky, it smells good, and I don't know what to do. Oh, I'm sorry. We did not realize. The tallest man apologized to Big Face. They made a fence on the bonfire, so their eyes, nose, and throat were a little better. When the meal was over and the bonfire was extinguished, the humans fell asleep quietly. When the leaves started to turn red and yellow, an old man came to Big Face. The old man knelt in front of his face, mumbled and chanted something, and then began to tear off the fruit on Big Face. Oh, ouch, stop it. The old man remains mumbling, but does not stop that. When the basket was full, the old man prayed to him and left. When the once bustling forest began to quiet, many people came to Big Face. Covered with weeds, moss is also growing. Well, let's get started. Man climbed Big Face with a ladder and cut grass and branches. Hey, what are you doing? It's clean up. No problem. Big Face can't do anything other than stay still. Big Face, with the grass and branches cut off, was adorned with a lot of glittering decorations. What are you going to do? He said without moving. Please look forward to the completion. While the sun was rising, there were many people and cars around Big Face. 
When the sun went down, it became quiet and really quiet. Around the time when the cold north wind began to blow, Big Face was covered in a building. Oh, it was good. Many people are happy to clap their hands. What was good? As he bent his head, the decoration rattled and the building tilted. No, no, don't do that. Seeing the worried people, he had no choice but to stay still. Many people have gathered around Big Face. There are so many people in front of him that he can only see people. Lively music played, and colorful confetti fell from the sky. People who applaud the speech. I cannot help noisy. It makes me dizzy. There were so many colors and sounds that he seemed to be all in one. Small flowers are in bloom. The number of people who used to be many has decreased with each passing day, and now there are no more people who visit Big Face. There were some people who came to decorate the flowers from time to time, but they also got older and eventually disappeared. The grass and trees are grown and the leaves are dyed red. It snowed and flowers bloomed several times. Hear the sound of the wind. It smells of grass and flowers behind it. A bird came over there. Big Face felt nostalgic for some reason. Hi, hello? The bird didn't say anything and perched on his face. It's nice weather today, isn't it? While saying that, Big Face squinted dazzlingly.